Now that we have a strong understanding of the fundamentals of SEO, we need to develop a strategy. What's going to be our SEO strategy? How are we going to approach our SEO? We have to ask ourselves that question and really come up with a game plan in the beginning to tackle SEO. The better that we can brainstorm and come up with a game plan in the beginning, the more successful we're going to be. Now, typically when you talk about SEO, uh, when different groups discuss SEO in companies and corporations and small businesses, so on and so forth, they ask some questions. These are the classic questions that they would ask. What keywords do we want to rank for? How do we get links? Site speed? Mobile? What about pe Penguin and Panda? And when do I get money? Of course, that's not really a strategy, but these could be some of the typical questions that could be asked when trying to come up with some sort of game plan for SEO. But in effect, you know, what we have to do with is come up with uh, the answer to a few different questions. And this is really going to dictate our strategy and how we're going to approach SEO. The first question, and this was developed by Moz, the first question is number one, what does our organization create that helps solve searchers' questions or problems? Or what will we create in the future? So this boils down to, you know, uh, are we doing products, services, or are we selling information? Um, you know, what, what problems are we solving? Are we, you know, a resume writing service and, uh, you know, we're trying to solve the problem of helping people get jobs? Um, you know, are we, you know, some sort of other employment service where, you know, we're doing headhunting and we're helping uh, large corporations find talented uh, employees? Um, you know, what are we doing? What What's our organization actually doing? What are we creating? Um, what problems are we solving? Or what problems do we intend to solve in the future? Now, this might seem like a, you know, a broad question. Um, and you might be asking yourself, well, how does this play into my SEO strategy? Well, you know, everything that you do has to come from f from the answer to this question. You know, really, again, we're forging value and building trust. You know, what type of what type of uh, questions are we helping people solve? You know, what what business are we in? Um, hopefully, you already understand that. Um, but it helps to really write this out and and to kind of see, you know, what type of answer are we coming up with? Uh, of course, you know, the next step is we're forging value. You know, what, what is the unique value? Number two, what is the unique value that we provide that no one else does? And, you know, we ask the question, um, you know, what answers are we, what answers to questions are we solving or what problems are we solving, um, as a way to generate, you know, how, how this value that we're providing is going to help people. Um, where no one else does, you know, is is the value just a value that's copied value, or is this truly unique value? Um, you know, there's a differentiation there. So we have to come up with a question, the answer to the question. You know, what is the unique value that we're providing? Um, and number three, who is going to help amplify our message and why? So this comes down to you know all the social media stuff, the link building. Um, who's going to get out there and really campaign for us um, you know we what networks are we going to leverage professional networks personal networks um, this is important because it's great we can have a lot of unique value uh, we can solve great questions and problems for people but if we have nobody championing our messages then you know how can we expect to gain tra traction it's going to be far more difficult that's for sure so Number four is, you know, we have to develop a strategy for turning our visitors into customers. So how do we go from search to conversion? Um, and through those steps, you know, search, repeat, visit, email, sign up, and conversion. Now this has, this comes down to developing a sales funnel. Um, this is a bit more advanced stuff, but, but still, you have to have a funnel. If you don't have a funnel, there's really no point to, to, to the SEO that you're doing because although organic search is going to get people to your website, organic search isn't going to seal the deal. You know, your purpose is to create some sort of email list uh, to deliver some extra value so that you can get those very, very important email addresses. 
and eventually you want to convert those visitors into purchasers. Um, that's the whole point of doing what you're doing. You know, at the end of the day, you know, you want to make money, but you know, you don't want to just just make money. You want to make money by providing value and uh, taking those visitors and and turning them into something, and not just letting them disappear. So. How do we, number five, how do we expose what we do in a way that search engines can easily crawl it, index it, understand it, and show off? And, you know, the answer to that question is, is, is rather long. And, you know, there's, there's so many different things that we can do from the video stuff to the articles to um, tons of different content types of marketing. So how are we going to expose what we're doing so that search engines can find it, you know? This comes back down to a lot of the webmaster guidelines that are discussed, and hopefully you downloaded that resource list of webmaster guidelines. And, and this basically comes down to the overall understanding of everything that we've spoken about up until this point. How are we going to expose everything? How are we going to optimize our content? Um, how are we going to display stuff so that so that search engines find it, and you know subsequently people find it, and we turn those people into into customers. So. When we develop our SEO strategy, we really have to ask ourselves these questions. So what I would like you to do is grab a sheet of paper and, and come up with an answer to each, each of these five questions. You know, you have to develop some sort of an approach. Now for number one, I hope that you already know what your organization does or what it's gonna do in the future. Uh, what questions are you solving? What problems are you solving? Um, and then what type of unique value are you gonna provide that nobody else does? Are you going to create some sort of infographics? Are you going to create some awesome video tutorials? Are you going to create some excellent articles that are very, very well researched? Um, what kind of unique value are you going to provide? Now, I'm not just talking about what you're selling. I'm talking about you know giving away the farm before you actually make that purchase. It's setting yourself up as an authority. You have to figure out how you're going to do that. You know. You have to come up with some sort of strategy on what you're gonna what you're gonna provide to people that you know not other not many other people do. You know what do you do that's the best? So the third is gonna be you know what networks are you going to t tap into? I mean, do you have a personal network? Do you have a professional network? Are you on LinkedIn? Um, do you have a big following on Twitter? You know who can you speak to that can assist you with this stuff now? Um, this this is not just yet to the social media stuff, the social media strategies, but this is really kind of exploring and brainstorming, you know, who or what avenues you're going to take to help champion your message. So, you know, you really do have to tap into this kind of stuff. You have to tap in to speak to people that you know, um, you know, make contact with people, reach out to folks that might be able to help you. And then number four is, you know what's going to be the process for turning those searchers into customers have you signed up for an email list you know how do you have a way that you can convert those searchers into 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 customers so i would i would definitely suggest you know checking out some of the 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 bigger email guys uh like aweber.com constant contact uh signing up for something and and you have to uh create some sort of reason for them to give you your, you their email address what are you going to give away? Are you going to create some sort of ebook? Are you going to create uh, some sort of video series that you're going to you're going to send out to people? Um, you have to figure out what you're going to create. Why should they give you their email address? Um, you know, what's the reason? You have to set yourself up as an authority. Obviously, you know, you need number one and two uh, and three, of course, before you can get to number four. But you know, you have to keep this in mind because you can't implement any SEO strategy without understanding how you're going to take those searchers and create and turn them into customers. Um, and number five, of course, is like, what are the different ways that we're going to get the search engines to index all of the stuff uh, and understand it that we're doing? Um, you know, we talked about, uh, hopefully you downloaded, again, that, that resource for Webmaster Guidelines, you know, using metadata such as from schema.org for, for your videos, you know, a great way is is creating some video tutorials with with schema information that Google can easily index and show off, uh, you know, in its video search. So you really have to just think about what are the different ways are you going to to achieve this? Are we going to do content marketing? Um, are you going to do video marketing? You know, are you going to do some crazy social media marketing? You know, what are you going to do 
Um, but you have to keep, obviously keep, you know, the value and trust concepts in your mind. You know, whatever you're going to do, you, you want to do it to the best of your ability. You know, I know, I know that a lot of people might look down to some of the stuff that I'm talking about, you know, and that I might sound repetitive, but it's 100% true because you do have to forge value and build trust no matter what you do. You know, if you want to succeed today in SEO, uh, you know, that's absolutely what you must do. So, uh, answer those questions, come up with a, a strategy, uh, before we move forward to the other parts, even if it's very in its broad strokes, um, and it's very generic for now, you know, you can definitely build upon it. Uh, but you have to figure out how you're going to build out the sales funnel. You know, how are you going to create unique value? Um, who's going to help to champion your message and all this stuff. So come up with something, write out a plan, even if it's not completely detailed. Um, and we have to create some goals. So, so build out some goals. You know, it's, it's definitely all about setting the right goals and building momentum off of it. Uh, and doing something a little bit each and every day uh, towards those goals. And, uh, and this will get us one step closer to developing an SEO strategy.